this age of Facebook, online dating, and social media, the classics are still relevant to our love lives. Well, since I pretty much only spend my life reading and or developing crushes on people, unfortunately my um, literary crushes are quite numerous. Say Natasha in War and Peace, she's probably my all-time favorite. She, she's described as this little quicksilver of a thing and she's just as comfortable sort of chasing on horseback after wolves with a bunch of peasants as she is sort of taking over the various uh, balls of Moscow. I think the first crush was Lori from Little Women, um, but I moved on pretty quickly to Gilbert Blythe from Anne of Green Gables. I think I've always liked those strong, quiet country boys from Books for Little Girls, the boys who are really good at listening. Uh, Jay Gatsby in The Great Gatsby, everyone I think reads that book in high school and probably falls a little bit in love with Jay Gatsby and probably wants to be Daisy Buchanan. But the fact is, in reality, were, were Jay Gatsby not a character in a novel but a character on the street, he'd be a little creepy. I am a big fan of Gilbert Bly from Anne of Green Gables. He first meets Anne by teasing her. Um, and so I think that was a big thing for me. I think I read it when I was in fourth grade, so um, that's kind of how those relationships worked and he sort of he hooked me, calling her carrots. I have a certain literary type and embarrassingly it tends to be quite young, which I hope doesn't mean I'm some sort of literary phoebophile. I like people like Anne of Green Gables and Esme from For Esme with Love and Squalor. They tend to be brainy, bookish, little chatterboxes and dreamers which remains a type of mine in real life. My literary crush is Emma Bovary, which I know is a little strange. It's something about Emma, she just, she knows what she wants and she goes for it. She wants to marry that doctor and she gets him. You know, she wants to have an affair in the back of a carriage or whatever it is and she goes for it. And I don't know, I guess I kind of like that gusto. My literary crush is Mr. Rochester from Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre, Edward Fairfax Rochester. Not a handsome man, but powerful, charismatic, intelligent, witty, and deeply sexy. If I had a literary crush, I, I think people would think I would say Darcy or Rochester, but I like a little more of a challenge, so I think I would say Severus Snape. My literary crush is Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice. And the reason she's my literary crush, first of all, I don't hold it against her that she's British. But I like her because, according to Jane Austen, she's a very observant person, like a writer. And yet, for all that, she admits to being human. That is to say, she's not always so sort of detached and, um, and clinical that she doesn't have a heart. Right now, my, my literary crush is Florentino Ariza from Love in the Time of Cholera. He actually is just so full of love for the world, and in particular, for the woman that he falls for, for Mina. And Fermina is very beautiful, but the, but the main reason he falls in love with her is because of her words. Uh, they spend years writing back and forth to each other, and I just feel like there's, there's little that's more lovely than, than that.